What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Steve. I'm Lindsay. Today we are super excited because we are coming at you with a brand new package opening. This package opening is a little bit bigger than the last one we had, a little reminiscent of our normal size package openings, maybe a little smaller, but uh, it's been a while since we had, uh, I don't know, what do we got, seven, eight, nine packages here? Yeah. So anyways, guys, I guess we're gonna get started. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I think we'll start with this one. Yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> this one says fragile all over the place. So. And one side was smashed, so hopefully. Yeah. Wait, is this the one with okay. the, yes, this is the one with the, um, Letter on the outside. Letter on the outside. Let's get this off. This is from Steven. Okay. In... Yes. I've been expecting this package because... Where's it, where's it from? I can't tell where that's from. Hi, Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia. Just have to thank you all for taking the time out of your day to make videos for us viewers. Aw. If you remember our conversation about my last botched parcel, which was supposed to be delivered by a DHL, I apologize that the items which were in that parcel were just continued by the company I purchased them from. Sorry, I've sourced some replacements from the same company and I hope they suffice. Do you, does this ring a bell? Yes, absolutely. And I want, it, it makes me want to mention guys, don't send through DHL. Um, <laughs> they don't ship to PO boxes for some but reason. But yet they take the package but, and but yet take they'll, the money. They'll take the package and I guess pretend they're going to ship it to the PO box and then they don't. So I, I don't so know. But ordeal yeah um in the box you'll find a pencil and ruler set which is for sophia now that she's started school hopefully they'll be used by her a lot the newcastle brown ale is my area's favorite local drink and is best served well chilled in a half pint glass nice. or small schooner is that how you say that the remainder of the box contents are fairly self-explanatory thanks for all you do best regards steven thank, thank you steven you. appreciate that it looks like everything may have survived. Hallelujah. That's a miracle. It really is. Because it was pretty beat up on one side. What's this? Oh, what is it? What's Newcastle on there? United. Football club, right? I think so. I usually wash oh, these that in. fits you perfect. Yeah. I usually wash these in the dishwasher before I, before I the wear them. Yeah. Magpies. What? Oh, that must be the, like, mascot. Magpie? What's a it's magpie? It's a bird, isn't it? A type of bird? Magpie. I don't know. Let us know in the comments, guys. <laughs> Thank you, Steven. That's a nice hat. You have a hard time finding hats that I do. do. Uh, so. Like, I have this weird-shaped head. But it's oh, not but, a big head, really. No, I mean, no. by the way, I, I'm I'm airing out my head today, if you can't tell. <laughs> Freshly shaven. and. I don't know how you can miss it. <laughs> <laughs> Smooth as baby bottom. But, uh, yeah, I normally wear hats all the time, but every once in a while I like to kind of... Give it a break. Give it a break a little bit. <laughs> uh, we're going to be in cold season soon, so I'll be wearing a lot of beanies. But, uh, yeah. What's this? Very original. Is this oh, dish? this must be like oh, was dish popular, washing. yeah, dish soap. That's cool. We need some of the... Ours would be like Dawn or, or what's the other one? Well, we buy fifth generation or seventh something. Generation. Seventh generation. <laughs> fifth generation. Yeah. Very cool. That is cool. Look at that. Ooh, it smells good. It smells really good. Newcastle United. Small oh, fish, it's set. What's the this thing? Club? What's that? Eraser, maybe? Or pencil sharpener. This is actually amazing because I've been needing to get her a pencil sharpener. And they've been sold out at Walmart forever because school just started. Yeah. So, yay, now we have a pencil sharpener. Yeah, we were actually lucky because... Basically, we don't have to buy anything really. Not for school supplies. School no. supplies. Uh, the school pretty much provides it all. Uh, the PTO covers it. Mm -hmm. uh, but when she's here at home. Except for like, so. yeah, when she's here at home. And we always had to cover backpacks and, you know, that Clothes. type, the big stuff. <laughs> yeah. But like paper and, you know, yeah. books and stuff like that. We didn't have to cover that this year. Yeah, that was nice. That was nice. Or, oh, the stock cubes. Overall. I guess I'm pronouncing it correctly. Bovril. Bovril. I've heard a lot about this. So is it just like beef stock? I'm assuming. I think so. Stock cube, so. Yeah, we'll try. That's it. cool. <laughs> what? You ready? No. I'm excited about this actually. That is it. <gasps> Marmite Chris. <Marmite> <laughs> I don't know why I never thought about 
the fact that they probably make that, but no, we tried. We tried the nuts. Yeah, and we tried Marmite on toast, but uh, these might actually be good. I don't know. Yeah. We like the peanuts. Mm -hmm. The Marmite peanuts were actually good. Didn't like the cashews too much, but I'm not really a cashew fan. Yeah, I'm excited to try. Yeah, these. maybe we should try those soon. How soon? Like, like now? Like in the next few minutes or something? Oh, okay. Maybe I don't know. We'll see. I'm shocked that everything made it. Ooh, extra special strawberry conserve. Cherry so conserve. Heavy. Ooh, they are heavy. Packed in Scotland. Well, I'm excited. This will be good. Sophia to try loves out cherries. BBJ. Yeah, Sophia loves cherries. <laughs> and I don't really. Do we ever have any like? I mean, they take call it conserve, but we would call it like jam preserves or jelly preserves. Or, yeah, something like that. Actually, would this be the same as our preserves? Is that what a conserve is? It makes sense. Conserve, preserve. Yeah. Um, These but are good, though. I don't know if I've ever had cherry. And I like cherry. Me either. We've had cherry in with other things. Like yeah. Like mixed berry type yeah. preserves. But... Mm, those look good. Yes. All right. Those are heavy. Oh. Uh-oh. What? I think something may have not made it. Let's see if that's what's going on there. Did it, it leak out? Or break? No, I don't think it's. I think it's just. Yeah, it feels broke. Oh. Maybe one of them is. I kind of need scissors. I don't want to cut myself. Oh, dang it! Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it feels like they're broke. There? Both of them, yeah. Is it two things? Yeah, two shot glasses, I think. Oh, I'm scared oh. to like totally end it. Yeah, they're busted. They're both of them. Darn it. Both of them. Yeah. You sure? This yeah, one... this is like I can see it, babe. Look, it's totally busted. Oh. I don't want to open it up because I don't want glass everywhere. Yeah, it was in Newcastle United. Mm -hmm. Set of shot glasses. Sorry, Steven. I wish that had made it. Yeah. I'm honestly surprised we haven't had more stuff around yeah. broken. Yeah, it, really. it is it is shocking We've now. We've had a few things. We've had a few things yeah. here or there, but uh, it's relative, considering like sometimes a box will be like, just like mm -hmm. caved in and stuff, and you're like, oh no. Because you <laughs> know there's some glass in it, and it's like, Somehow. but I think it's because those are a little thinner and- Probably, so and, not as sturdy. Yeah. And it looks like you try to pack them really well too. I'm yeah, you, you did a good job, it's just, Yes, luck of the draw, I guess, yeah, or something. Yeah. All right. But it looks like that made it. This made it. <laughs> All right. Let's, I already know what this is. Yeah, he told us in the letter. Ooh, that's a big one. Newcastle Brown L. Neither of us have a ton of experience with L. Mm -mm. Well, I, I know I have a little more than you, but... <laughs> um, but I uh, really even I like, don't have a ton of experience with it. I want to see this. I really like their uh, label. It looks so nice. Really eye catching and. So did he say in the letter this was the most popular one in his area? You're really testing my memory. The Newcastle Brown Ale is my area's favorite local drink. Area's favorite local drink. Okay. Did you hear Newcastle Brown Ale is affectionately known as Dog by the those in the know? Dog. I'm gaming to see a man about a dog. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm taking the dog for a walk. <laughs> We're often used by Jordy men. I'm gaming to see a man about a dog. I'll be back in a few hours. <laughs> thank you, Steve. Steven. Thank you so much. We appreciate it. Yes, we do. And sorry about your shot glasses. You want to give the Marmite a try? <clears throat> do I want to? I mean, I'm not like... We're gonna do it. Let's do it. Let's try it. I, right. I'm excited. I want to see what these are like. Do I dare smell it? it? Smells yeasty. Mm hmm. Smells like marmite. All right. Hold on. Oh, you got a good one. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see if I can get a. All right. Well, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, 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 a bunch oh, of. I got one that's covered. Are right, you ready? All right. Honestly, I think that might be my favorite Marmite thing I've tried. Yeah, it's interesting. I kind of like it. This is like, it almost has the initial flavors almost like barbecue. A little bit, but then the aftertaste is a little bit different, obviously. I kind of like them. 
Yum. It's not bad. Mm -mm. And honestly, if I didn't know they were Marmite, I wouldn't think they were Marmite. I could see, though, like, mm. because they're so rich, I could see not wanting to eat a ton of yeah. them, which is good. I mean, <laughs> yeah, the initial flavor is almost like a barbecue to me. And that, it quickly turns into salt, turns into Marmite. It's like caramely yeasty. Those are bad. Thank you. Sweet. Glad I finally got to try those. Man, they got a ton of more of my stuff. Mm hmm. All right. Good to know. I like them. We'll have to uh, let Sophia try those. Yeah. Thank you, Stephen. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. This is from Kay in England. Oh, I England. think it's Keith. Keith. Yep, I believe Eden. it is. I believe so. I I'm not 100% sure, but I believe so. What's this say? Oh. Hey, what? Don't. don't That's like a packing slip. Okay, is there an address? Oh, is this where it shows that it was inspected? Oh, I bet. Oh, here, here you go, here you go. There's, okay. there's that. Oh my gosh. Is that a, <laughs> is that a, what, what do you call this Mirror thing? Meerkat, I think. Meerkat. Oh my gosh. Yep, meerkats. They're cute. Hi, Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia. We continue to enjoy watching your channel. There's a dress for Sophia. Wimbledon was on, so naturally it has strawberries. <laughs> she loves strawberries, by the way. There are some books for her and a few other things for you all to try. Keith and Anna, thank you so thank much. Thank you, guys. We appreciate it. Oh, all right, here's that dress. <gasps> oh my goodness! That is oh, that is cool. that is cute. She's gonna love it. She She's is. Gonna love she it. dresses all the time. That's what she. All wants All she to wants wear. to wear. I think we've said These that. These are so. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's cute. <laughs> what size is it? It is. Seven years, so it'll fit her for a while. That's good. Nice. I always appreciate things a little bigger. That's what I usually try to do because then she can wear it for working. longer. Yeah. That is so cute. Crispy coated barbecue peanuts. Ooh, that sounds good. This sounds really good. Alda Barn. Mm. Oh, Al Barn. Oh, it's like a, a little retro a mix. mix. Oh, that's perfect because we just did the uh, nostalgic mm. candy. Sophia loves this type of stuff. She does. She eats it up. It's like her after school um, <laughs> tradition. She comes home and has one of her sweets. All right, guys. Unfortunately, there was some <laughs> sort of prohibited material removed and destroyed. Contains meat not admitted by U.S. Department of Agriculture. So some kind of cured meat. I wonder what it, says, it was. It says uh, meat may carry animal diseases that do not occur in the United States. I mean, you never know. They even they even outlaw what is it? Uh, the eggs, the the Cadbury, not the Cadbury, the um, Kinder eggs. Kinder eggs. Yeah. Like you, you never know, man. Uh, it says type of animal product, ruminant or swine material. Pork. I have no idea. That's okay. unfortunate, but. Cheese flavored savory snacks. Cheesy bites. Oh, these are yeah. like these are like um, cheesy bites. These look good though. They're like our um, our version of our Cheez Its. Kind of, maybe less cheesy. Yeah, maybe, maybe slightly. Mm. But Sophia and I love cheese crackers. I so. want. Oh, Mermaid School. That looks adorable. Sophia loves to read, as you know. I'm yeah, sure. I think everybody knows at this point how much oh, we thought about her reading. It's a really nice set. Thank you. And she's really into mermaids now, too. So. I want to try those. Now? M maybe we'll wait. Maybe we'll wait. <laughs> thank you, guys. Yes, thank you we very much. We appreciate it so much. Let us know in the comments, guys, um, what exactly was el else was in the box. So mm -hmm. that we, uh, was it black pudding? Or was it something else? Or just jerky? Or I would expect Pork jerk. jerky. Yeah. Oh, pork jerky. That's true. Wasn't that pork jerky. Yeah, I don't think it's pork jerky. <laughs> it's true. I wonder what it was. Because we've had other meat products get here fine. I mean, yeah, I think that's the first things. time. I think that's the first time I've seen a letter saying that something was removed. Yeah, it is. So I have no idea. All right, this is from Jan in Grimsby. <laughs> All right. Oh, oh, you liked those, didn't you? I love these types of things, man. <laughs> Tropical slices. I'm not huge on the sugary, like, 
like candy, sweet stuff too much, but I do like stuff like that. These are strawberry pineapple mango. Mm. Okay, here's something else I want to eat right now. <laughs> Dear Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, just a small package for you, a couple of sweet treats, and some anti-sickness travel bands for Sophia. Oh, that's Thank cool. you so much. My nephew used to get so ill when he and his family came to visit when we lived in Isleworth. They made a huge difference immediately, and he never got sick again. These will help Sophia have a much more comfortable and enjoyable journey when you go on road trips. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Jan. She is always talking about that when we talk about like, oh, we're going to go here or there at some point. And she's like always worried that she's going to get sick. And it's Aww. one of the things that makes her not want to travel. Yeah, she so, loves adventure and going Yeah, on but she trip. hates the traveling part of driving because of she's I wonder sick. how they work. Yeah, I know. No, we'll see. Oh my what God. is this? It is, okay, it's a little melted, but I'm still going to eat it. <laughs> it's Terry's Chocolate Orange Minis Exploding oh. Candy. Yeah, that's your thing right there. <laughs> no doubt that's your thing. That looks good. It says it's new, so it must not be a very old flavor. Oh. Flips. They sell those here. I wonder if they're the same, though. I doubt it. What flavor was that? Peanut butter. Never seen that. Sophia's. I've never seen flips before, so I, 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 I feel like I've heard of them, but maybe they come from the UK or something. Yeah, I don't know, but yes, anybody knows me knows me well. I love peanut butter. I love anything <laughs> peanut butter. Too. Pretzels, anything pretzels too. Travel sickness wristbands. I wonder how they work. Is it like a pressure point thing? On use on planes, boats, trains, and cars. So. Oh, potentially, instead of taking the pill for uh, nausea on uh -huh. boats, that might would work. Yeah, I wonder if it's like an acupressure thing. By applying pressure on the Nikon acupressure point uh, on each wrist. That's cool. These bands do not contain any drugs, so no side effects associated with the, like if you take a pill or something. The bands are washable and suitable for adults and children. That's cool. Thank you, Jan. That is awesome. Pretty genius. Yeah. Thank you. And I love that it's reusable, so you can... Yeah, I'm excited to try that, see if that works. Me too. Let's go I on mean, vacation. Yeah, let's go on vacation. <laughs> That's awesome. Thank you, Jam. Thank appreciate you. you. Appreciate it. All right, guys. We got a package here from Jane and Nutley. Nutley. Oh. Ooh. Whoa. <gasps> An Usborne flat book. See inside castles. Castles, and places, and stately homes. Ashdown Forest. Nutley Windmill. <laughs> Pooh Walks. That's, Wait, what? Uh, Pooh Walks. Isn't Ashdown Forest where the Hundred Acre Wood was like, based it? off of? I believe, I believe it was, yeah. I'm, a, I'm pretty awesome. sure. We are for sure going to have to take Sophia there. Yes, she, she would absolutely love it. Wow. Royal Pavilion and Garden. Yes, oh, I wow. Look at that. Oh That's gosh, extravagant. That so opulent. Oh, my goodness. This is amazing. She loves to lift the flat books. And we love Osborne books, too. Yes. Very cool. I'm sure we'll learn a bunch from this book because we don't know a lot about castles, honestly. No, not a ton. And that's something I've been wanting to look up for mm -hmm. quite a while. I just never learn how they made the castles, like, you know, Centuries ago. Ooh, jousting. Wow. It just blows my mind. I know you guys see them all the time, so you're used yeah. to it, but it blows my mind how many castles there are in the UK. Wales, I believe, has the... Wales was yeah. like the most castles per, per capita or whatever Per square mile or something like that, yeah, in the entire world. Wow. I don't remember if it was it just the most castles in a single country or most castles per <clears throat> kilometer or mm -hmm. what, but yeah. Thank you, Jane. Appreciate it. We're excited to read through these. Oh, and look at that. The letter's right on top. It says, hi, guys. I hope Sophia liked her tea set for one. She did. She was so excited that she had her very own, and it was, like, much more easy for her to use because it was smaller. And I hope that you have all have lots of tea parties <laughs> all the time. She constantly wants to. One of her favorite things to do. This box contains birthday presents for Sophia oh. and some more snacks for you all to try. We've included some snacks we saw Natasha and Debbie try that looked so good we had to buy them too. I hope you're all well and adjusting to Sophia being in school. Trying Best to. wishes Elizabeth, Joanne, and Lucy. 
Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Uh, She's going to feel really special that she yeah. got some birthday presents. Um, yep. She's six she's, now. Yeah, she's <laughs> six. Um, she's adjusting to school. It's gotten a lot better for sure. Oh, wait, the night and day compared yeah. to how it was when we started, right? Yeah. Much Look less at, anxiety about you know, it. A little net flying around. But it's still, I mean, she's used to being able to do her own thing and mm -hmm. having to sit and listen to the teacher. It's a little bit of a struggle for her, but yeah. we're but getting there. I think it is for a lot of kids. Yeah, age. I mean, that's just what I usually think. Oh my gosh! We're in the tell time. Look at this little clock. Maths. Oh, that's awesome. She loves numbers. Yeah, like she'll be really excited. About she that. loves to read, but mm -hmm. I almost think she loves numbers just as much. Like she's I think adverse. she's one of those rare people that are going to excel at both. Mm -hmm. Like reading and Yeah. Reading, writing, and math. Like, you know, I can 100% not be in her dad just as if I was just a uh, uh, someone just looking from the outside in and I saw the way she was with numbers, I'd be like, "Wow, she she is, that's one area I can say that she is very, very ahead of, mm -hmm. you know, compared yeah. to kids her age. Because we, she's always been into numbers, constantly asking about, you know, everything. And telling doing, time yeah, and time everything, and all stuff. adding, subtracting, doing all the. Oh, uh, we, we can't open these. Yeah, I can't open that. <laughs> Should we read her a little card though, or just no? Oh, here's another card. Oh my Gosh, goodness. You guys are spoiling her. Oh my goodness. We'll have to like, yeah, I, if we, cause if we, I mean, if we could open it and see what it was. Yeah. I mean. I don't want to ruin her surprise. I know. Is there a way to open it without tearing it apart? Like. <laughs> you want to sneak open it. We're not going to be able to see what's in there right now. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you. She will be very excited. I've never tried that. Chai latte. I've always been curious about it though. You take three teaspoons of powder in a cup, stir with hot water or hot milk of choice. Hmm. Well, I wonder what the flavor is. I have, I have no experience with coffee, hardly at well, all. This isn't coffee. Was well, it latte? I don't Chai. even know what a latte is, to be honest. Chai. Latte just means with milk, I think. Isn't that coffee with milk? Isn't that what it is? But chai. Yeah, we're it's definitely. It's like a type of tea, I think. <laughs> we're definitely uh, don't have much experience with this type of stuff. We're just water people, usually. Ingredients, sugar, skimmed milk powder, coconut oil, whey, melted extra and caramelized sugar, instant black tea, oh, cinnamon, tea. spices. Wait, so, so it's a tea related thing? Milky tea wait, a, with spices? Wait, latte, like chai, chai latte. Mm -hmm. mm, yeah, definitely gotta try that. Ooh, knoppers, coconut bar, that looks good. Oh, 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 oh. What is that? Home Minis. of Irish Biscuits. The Bakehouse, Ooh. made in Ireland. Minnie's chocolate cookies. Those look good. Okay, again, something I need to try right this minute. Knoppers. Yes, I want to try these too. These look good. Uh, I want to try all this stuff right now. <laughs> My goodness. Oh, oh Knoppers. I think, she sent, I think she sent one for each of us. Oh. 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 And, and oh. Lancashire crisps. Simply Spuds. That's awesome. We oh, love that brand. This brand is one of the best. Actually, I believe that's that's what I think I was thinking of with I that. I think these are Lancashire crisps, though. Hmm. But yes, the Lancashire crisps, man, guys, I'm telling you, I, I'm sure a lot of you have had these, but obviously not everybody. <laughs> if you get the chance in your area to find these, to they're me, top notch. they are. They are. They're very good. Uh, we've tried. How many, how many different types will we try? Like, I don't know. It's been like so, a couple of people have sent us to. I feel, I feel like we tried at least a good. At least five different. Flavors. I, yeah, I was gonna say six or seven or something. I don't know if it was that many, but it's been a been. Did we try one that was plain, kind of no. like this? Well, we tried salted. Salted. So this we is. We haven't tried. Unsalted. Oh, this is simply spuds. Mm -hmm. oh, I want to try these. Oh, uh, maybe we'll try something else. One more thing at, at, at the end of this. <laughs> Thank you, Elizabeth, Joanne, and Lucy. Appreciate it, guys. We, Sophia's going to be so excited yes. to open her presents. All right. This is from Patrick in... Mid-Glamorgan? Mid Glamorgan? Is that... I, mean, I don't know. So, 
It says, to Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, I've been watching your channel since near the beginning. It's good to see the rest of the family included. I bought this map of Oxford many years ago, possibly in 1987. Wow. It's like a Google Earth before Google. It has perspective. You should be able to find the universities along with many historical places. I used to live in Oxfordshire and visited many times. Also included are a couple of stickers, one for Sophia, as I know she likes Paddington. Oh, yes, she does. The other for yourself. They celebrate the Queen's 75th Jubilee. I think you may have watched Paddington, the Queen Tea and Sandwich. <laughs> I now live in South Wales and the Valleys. The Valleys are where coal was mined. There were around 250 collieries. The South Wales area has some great scenery, waterfalls, etc. You asked about postcodes. You can try this live. Oh, that's true. Like we could go in Google Maps and like. Oh, that's true. See by putting in, he gives an example. That's here. that's a great idea. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it give us an idea of like how close you can actually get to knowing an area based off a of postcode. Yeah, alone. and it says it'll give you the street view of the person who lives here. I still gotta. We still gotta look into that on a deeper level and. Says I made a three-part video several years ago driving the area. It's not the best quality. YouTube at Sparky Projects shooting the Welsh Valleys. Hmm. Very cool. Thank, Thank you, Patrick. You. Appreciate it. Yeah, this is a really old map. Oh my goodness. Poster maps. Souvenir map of Oxford, eighty-seven, by Nick Gibbard. Wow. You want to turn it around? So yeah. Can see they it. don't make those anymore. That's for sure. That's really cool. Kind of want to hang it up. Yeah, me too. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you for Appreciate sending it. us that stuff. This is from uh, Lynn, Lynn and Lee Gomery Telford. You're so good at coming up with those like naming. Well, I don't know if they're right. I just well, say better them. by I. Uh, Maybe I just say them more confidently. Dear Steve, Lindsay, and Sophia, as always, I'm really enjoying your videos, and we've all survived the reset election. I'm typing this as my writing is terrible and it's a full page letter. I hope you enjoy the second parcel from me to you and I hope it finds you all well. And closes a selection of books plus some leaflets that I've picked up with historical places in Shropshire. Finally, I've enclosed a small book by the English icon, the great late Spike Milligan, poet, actor, and famous for being a wow. lead in the popular BBC radio series, The Goon Show. The Goon Show. Wishing you all the best, James. Thank you, James. Yes. Appreciate it. Telford, the making of Shropshire's new town. Georgie Porgy. Georgie Porgy? Mm -hmm. Why do I know that? Is that? Well, there's like a rhyme. Yeah. There? Georgie Porgy, something pie, kiss the girl who made them cry. Yeah. Yeah. And then I why is why, why is every nursery rhyme from over in the UK somewhere or in Ireland? One of the well, the UK and Ireland make up all nursery rhymes. I guess it's because we have a ton of immigrants well, coming sure, in the area. Yeah, I'm sure there's nursery rhymes from other regions. Yeah, it's just but like ours all, all the ones I know. Friends. Like I'm thinking, oh, some of these are made in America. Nope, they're all from <laughs> over in England or Scotland or Ireland or somewhere. A well, mad medley of Milligan Terry. Pratchett, a blink of the screen. Throughout history, the humble allotment garden has played its part in the well-being and survival of the British people. For more than 250 years, countless tenants have found economic benefit, comfort, relaxation, and salvation while tending their little plots of earth. And the social history of allotments forms a rich part of the nation's cultural history, history, heritage. In short, there is no other feature of the British landscape quite like the allotment garden. And here is the full story of its evolution from the land enclosures of the mid 18th century through two world wars to the present day an allotment garden i feel like we've had someone mention that in the comments before like where people will rent a plot of land and from the is? government or whatever and they will grow Ooh, that's stuff interesting on it. like allotment garden is that just is there something specific about an allotment garden versus just like a regular garden mm -hmm. Is it, well, is it I the think same an thing? allotment would be where you would grow things, whereas your garden at home would be more like... Right, but I'm looking at like here, like a garden. Yeah, we don't call the yard right, a garden. Right. So it's like... So an allotment garden would be where you guys would just would grow food compared to just the garden would be like 
the grass in the right, yard, or maybe some shrubs down. or something like that. That's what I guess that means. Iron Bridge Gorge Walking Festival. Iron Bridge Gorge. Mm -hmm. That sounds Thomas interesting. Culford Trail. The Steaming Mug. Oh, this is a... Um, Ooh. Ooh, that looks good. What is that? The Telford T50 50 Mile Trail. Oh, that would that be fun. That looks like beautiful scenery. I think it crosses through the Iron Bridge Gorge thing. What's the Iron Bridge Gorge? Look at it on the back. Yeah. Oh, wow. You know something I want to check out? What? And this is, this is kind of off topic from that, but I'm seeing this blue <laughs> thing right here, and I'm like, something I'd really like to check out is like, what are some of the fast food, like the chains, like the restaurant mm. chains that came out of the UK? And how they differ. Right? And how they differ from like, like what is the McDonald's of the UK? Like, I mean, I'm, I think McDonald's is a thing there too. Though. No, it is. I'm, the McDonald's came out of the US, but what is the McDonald's of the UK? Like, right, like McDonald's, I don't eat McDonald's, but like McDonald's here obviously is a, and all around the world now is a very popular fast food chain. Mm -hmm. What is that for the UK? What fast food chain is very popular in the UK and it's, they're everywhere? They was created in the UK. What? What? Okay, now. There's an ad in this paper, the Metro paper. I don't know if this is legit, but it's called Great Travel Offers. And it says, our getaways and holidays offer outstanding value, many with free upgrades, excursions, and more. This first one up here, they're advertising four star Budapest, uh, three nights bed and breakfast from 129 pounds per person. What? That's crazy. It includes return flights what? and bed and breakfast. What? And y'all wonder why we don't travel much. Like, <laughs> what? Dude, we cannot. We can't even get like an. Airbnb for a night. No, that. But <laughs> also, that. we can't even get a flight anywhere for that. No. Like, that the the prices then, are insane. And then here's Tunisia. Three nights, all inclusive, from 129 pounds per person. I mean, I'm sure you would probably have to. Damn. Like do like some other cost in there that's but that's insane. so cheap turkey 229 per person wow wow for how many days a turkey is seven nights seven nights for all what? inclusive all inclusive from 229 pounds per Two, person 200 is that cool flights flights there, return, no way it says return flights. so maybe you got to get out there and then but, you, and then you but still wow that's incredible <laughs> man so interesting, like, like looking at stuff like this. I look at it, I'm like, I have no idea. Right, we don't have any context <laughs> I have no for context this for, for this stuff. Get health insurance and start your well-being journey with the Body Coach app included free. Aviva Health Insurance is here for your everyday health and well-being. Hmm. I mean, I do know that they, you know, we, we've looked at that a little bit, looked into the private doctors. Right. Um, and so, obviously, some people do. more for, like, wellness, working out and stuff. Yeah, I'm not sure what that would be. Thank you, Lennon James, for all the reading material. We'll Absolutely. It'll keep us busy for a while. <laughs> yeah, we've got a lot to read now. I'm really curious about this allotment gardening thing. Mm -hmm. it, it makes me wonder, like, is that the same as what we would call a garden? Like, just period. Like, because we call it. Our... They say they just call it a vegetable garden. Yeah, that's true. So... And then they call the yard a garden. So an allotment garden, is that just is that just mm -hmm. a different way to describe what we would call a garden or what they call a vegetable garden? Is that what I that think is? so. I think it's where you rent out land to do hmm. it. Because, like, maybe you live in a townhouse where yeah, you, you don't have, it, you don't have yard space and right. or yeah. garden space. Yeah, the way we call it stuff so confusing. Because <laughs> we would call we call our the place that you guys call your garden, we call it a yard. And then and then things or were... Or lawn. And then where food is grown, that's what we would call a garden. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes people, I guess, have, like, a flower garden. They do have that, too. Yeah. But, uh... Thank you so much, guys. We appreciate yeah, it. You. you want to try something else? That's what I was about to say. I want to try something else. I'm I all of this stuff looks good. I like don't even know what to try because I'm like. Do you want to do something sweet? This one's coconut. That's not coconut. Noppers. No, and those are like squares. Oh, this is hazelnut wafer. Ooh. Okay, maybe we should try those. <laughs> I love hazelnut. But these, I'm like, oh, I want to try these. We have kind of chocolate chip cookies though. We've never had anything uh, like this. All right, so which one do you want to do? I'm good with it. Oh, and then there was these. 
I know. But I don't want to open Lips, it all. Lips, peanut butter. I, no, we can't open it all. <laughs> no. I'm doing this. All right. I'm just going to go with what she goes with. All right. Let's do it. The packaging is interesting. No burrs. Crispy. Ooh. Looks good. Almost looks like marshmallow in there. But I don't think it is. Oh, man. That does look Ooh. good. Uh, my favorite wafer product like this, they're like minis, are the Lokers. I think they're yeah, from Italy. Yeah, you do like those, yeah. They're the hazelnut. They're so good. We gotta stop. This looks delicious. <laughs> that is so good. It's like a wafer sandwich. Mm. That's really good. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's good. Mm. Mm. And it just like melts in your mouth. Almost has a little bit of like, like you know the coffee flavor with a tiramisu. No. Well, it's kind of got maybe it's cause the the chocolate must be just be it's rich, it's dark, and so it gives me that kind of like it almost like, like coffee. Co it does to me a little bit. It just has it's like probably. Sorry. It's probably the hazelnut. Oh my gosh, this is good. Oh, that's good, guys. You don't want the last bite? You've never tried a knopper? Yeah, that's good. Hazelnut with a crispy wafer. I wonder where the name came from. Mm. I don't know, but I mean, even this. It sounds like something else. What's that? The caramel? What is that? It kind of looks like Oh. Thumbs up. Yeah, thumbs up, absolutely. <laughs> and thumbs up on the Marmite Crisp, too, surprisingly. Yeah, yeah, I was surprised. I didn't think I would like them that much, but it almost has a barbecue flavor. Just a little bit. Thank you, everyone. Yes, like always, thank you so much, guys. We're always just blown away by all the interesting things you guys sent. And the generosity. Yes, so much. And thank you for sticking around and watching and hanging out with us. But I guess that's it for us today. Thank you so much for stopping by, guys. Please click that like button. Feel free to drop your comments or suggestions about this video or others. And don't forget to subscribe to continue to follow us on our journey to discover anything and everything from the UK and Ireland. Till next time, guys. Peace.